potatoes. And I'm today I'm cooking pasta. And my chicken in the bowl. Boom, it's going to show right Some slap your mama. Do you put Goya? Let me stop. Okay, body is a more your wish look like your wish wish you look like this. I do not like at all. <laughs> at all. Take me on. I don't know what you was doing up late. Oh, take so I'm adding in spinach and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Linguine. I mean, that's for the chicken. Chicken, and it's gonna cook some more in here. And my water for my arrows. And I put a bouillon stock. And some of the seasoning. It tastes real good, but it's not there yet. And my mom, come on. You know, I'm just doing some wifely. Duties. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I just had to mute the TV and come on here and say this. Hold on, let me turn on the real bright, bright, bright light. <sighs> okay. So on Snapchat, I posted a couple pictures of me in which I might include them in here. But this dude sent up, you fine as fuck, where you from? I told that nigga Germany. <laughs> because I am from Germany. And I said, you mother, and know it. When he said, you fine as you mother, like, I know I'm fine. I just, I just really don't be caring how I be looking, if we being honest. I, I like to get cute whenever I damn feel like it, to be honest with y'all. Um, I did make a little bit of mess in the kitchen where I didn't make no damn mess, except for on the stove. This is about to get turned off though, but this is how she looking. It smells so good, y'all. Like, so good. I put my foot in that pasta. Yeah. I just can't wait to cook for my man, my husband. Yeah, I'm really finna get married. That's crazy. 
but stupid TV acting dumb. I look really good. And then this bright ass kitchen light, like what? Okay, I made some bread and it's crispy. Mm hmm. Mm. Now that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's all I have to say. And y'all, my body looks so good without tattoos. But oh my god, bro. I wanted to tattoo so freaking bad. But my body looks so good without a tattoo. Like, oh my gosh. I wanted the tattoo right here. And then I can get the dragon right here. I could do that. Or I could put it where I want to put right here and get the dragon right here. But my body looks so good without a tattoo, John. And I really just like when niggas with a kid try to talk to me. Like, no. Don't try to talk to me. Your baby is six months old. Like, go be with that baby. And go be with your baby mom. Like, what? And they'd be like, oh, I'm not ready for marriage. But yet, you're ready for an 18-year commitment? What? It's not, it's not making sense. Like, yeah, you might not be where you want to be, but what? All y'all want to do is have sex and have babies. Go get married. Go be a sanitation man. You know, get that 401k. Get that good retirement. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, and then here's another thing. What was her name? I think her name is Courtney on TikTok. She was talking about um, how these new artists, all they do is simple, simple, simple. That's all they do. All these OGs, OG rappers and singers, they just need to stop approving it or if they don't own a masters or any if they don't own anything whoever own it need to stop approving it make your own stuff 10 years from now what are we gonna have to listen to like let's be so real they don't have no hits i can't name one new artist that got let me just say the women i can't name five new women artists that got hits that would be played 10 a decade from now like, and Lily got a couple hits. Lil Baby got some hits. None of them got no club hits. None of them. Ooh, their catalog is just not, ah. Their catalog is shrunken. Their catalog is not um, expanded. It's like in one category. Like, Nicki got hits. Drake got hits. Eminem got hits. Britney Spears got hit. Lana Del Rey. Whitney Houston. Prince, Chris Brown, Rihanna, Kanye, y'all say that man, R. Kelly got hits, hell, some of Beyonce songs is R. Kelly songs, some of Chris Brown songs is R. Kelly songs, those are hits right there, like, I didn't watch that, I didn't watch none of it, I just knew he, the man got arrested for, what did he get arrested, I don't know, I don't even know what he got arrested for, I just know it had to do with like, children, well, was it children? Let me shut up, cause I don't know nothing. I don't, I, I don't even know what he got arrested for. We were quite honest. But the man got hits. I, he got hits. All these people got hits, and the music is still getting played. So I'm like, what are we gonna have to listen to? Cause they don't got no hits that will be played a decade from now, like all the mainstream artists, like I just said. MJ got hits. Michael Jackson got hits boy boy i'll play beat it 10 times in a row and i get tired of it beat it beat it like kesha got hits none of these bitches got hits some of the gold has got like what three hits that i know when you're ready come and get it she got another song i know selena at least got four hits justin bieber got a couple hits when he was in that stage Ludacris got a mm, I don't know, Usher got hits. Y'all just see him on stage. And really, I really don't like how he didn't play Daddy's Home. Like, what? Imagine Dragon got hits. It's so many groups that got hits. Paramore got hits. Like, Tamla Man got hits. And she not even in these categories at all. All I'm saying is these new artists, they freaking suck. 
If you need a hit, baby, I can write you a hit. I need a tip drip. Tip drip. Okay. Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Hurricane Chris got hits, boy. What? Hold on. Where is Hurricane Chris from? I don't know. But Bootsy got hits. Yeah, a bunch of niggas out of Louisiana got hits. Okay. What you need, boy? That's Wayne right there. Well, Wayne on it. Let me say that. That's a whole group right there. I need a hot one. Hot girl. I'm just saying, Missy got hits. For real, got hits. Shit. If y'all want me to start rapping, I have a couple of raps on my phone, but I don't know how my voice would sound on a track. I really think I could catch a beat, to be honest with you. Lil' Fo got hits. There's nothing I would want to hear. Well, I don't think I would want to hear Lil' Fo at a Super Bowl. But none of these artists have songs that you would want to hear at a Super Bowl except for Lil Baby. Could Lil Baby really perform a whole Super Bowl by himself with the hits that he has? And get like the whole arena rocked. Now, Lil Uzi can do it. He has songs with Nicki. He, he has a great catalog. You know what I mean? I just want to rock. That right there, that would have to be his last, the very last song. He shouldn't come out with that. But I'm just saying, I just want to rock. That had everybody and their mama shaking their hips. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He could take a whole Super Bowl performance. And then if he bring out Nicki with a, you was right. I, no, that wasn't that song. What the fuck? I'm tripping. It's the way life goes. I think that's the song. All I'm saying is, I think... If XX Takashi Han was still alive, he could perform in front of the Super Bowl with him and Uzi. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. That's a will. But yeah, that is my TED Talk for today. I just like to ramble and I just like to talk. I really don't be talking about nothing for real. I just be talking. But um, like I say, run your mouth like you run them hands a little bit. No, I'm just playing, guys. But um, I think that is the end of this vlog. Don't forget to <laughs> Don't and duh, God damn talk how you talk. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And with all that, your girl is out. <laughs>